guys, welcome to the vlog. It's the day after the DJ gig. <laughs> Playing at that club yesterday was as always a whole lot of fun. So today not heading over to the studio and working on music, producing music, also no business stuff, nothing like that. I will just stay at home, chill, relax, try to recharge my energy, maybe continue watching the people of Boiler Room. If you don't know, that's like a YouTube channel where someone edited all of the funny moments out of all of the Boiler Room episodes together. Great job. And if you don't know what Boiler Room is, that's basically like a famous DJ DJing and instead of having the crowd in front of him, they are behind the DJ area and they always live stream it, they always film it, so you see a bunch of really fucked up people in the background dancing, trying to make out with each other, and, and also just a, a lot of weird people. It's, it's usually in Berlin. I think it started in Berlin. And it's now extremely huge, especially in, in the underground scene. Also that angle pants video. Yeah, I know, sorry for that, but that was also part of the boiler room. And those videos are extremely fun. There is so much weird stuff happening in the background, and that's what I experience every time when I DJ somewhere. You have a lot of really drunk people, a lot of really weird people, and all of that combined in a club with loud music and almost no light, so there's a lot to discover. And speaking of discovering things, Gordon discovered on his computer a file that I already talked about with you. It's the very first song that I made with him together that features vocals. It's the, the most embarrassing and worst song that, that I created. It's the first one, of course, it's bad. But this song is still very important. Always when I listen to it, very motivational. And it's, it's the one that opened my eyes and I realized that I'm still very, very far away from making really good music. This was like 10 years ago. So all of this coming up in the hangover story time. It's time for the story part, hangover story time, HST. Sounds like one of those sexual diseases. Well, anyways, the track that I want to present you today, as I said, the first one with vocals that I made with Gordon together, he found it on his hard drive. It was actually a remix for a DJ friend here out of the city that was at that time way more known than, than us. So we were really happy and honored that he allowed us to make a remix or at least like use, use the parts of it. I think the track was called I Need You or I Want You, something like that by Abyss. And that track actually entered the Italian top 50, I think like 15 years ago in a time where electronic music wasn't at all present in the chart, so it was quite quite a huge track, at least like for the underground kind of scene. And I haven't listened to the track for a while, actually since I got this new computer, which is now also already like four years old, I, I didn't have it on my hard drive. And the kick already just sounds awful. You can definitely hear that this was made back in the days where Electro House was really big. Very typical bass line, bass line sound. Huge mistake actually, like in the break the bass is like going from left to right, which you actually shouldn't do. I mean you can, but, but I wouldn't suggest it and, and it's like going from left to right way too much so that it actually is really like annoying. And because it's not annoying enough, <laughs> it's even increasing the rate. I mean, the main melody isn't 
that bad. It's not good, but the, the sound is just awful. It's like straight from a synth without any change to it. It's like a very basic, annoying, cheap sounding synth. You know, actually the melody is also really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not good, but it's definitely not the most awful song I've ever listened to. I, I get sometimes track submits that are worse and also demos that are worse than this. But this song was actually like a huge step for me because it was the first one that I actually finished. It's like six minutes, 33 long. It's a full song, full arranged, all of the effects are in it. It's at least complete. Not good, but it's finished. It, it, it counts as a song, as a finished thing that could be released. No one would probably release it because it's so bad. But then we, we took this track to the guy that made the original. He had like a nice studio, home studio, and I was still producing on like cheap 15 euro speaker that are actually made for gaming. He then Listen to the song, told us honestly that it's shit. I already talked about this in my other hangover story time, like the most eye-opening moment. I will link it up at the end of this video. It really helped me to understand that a lot of times you, when you make something, you, you think it's good because you made it and then, then you're really proud of it and you know how much hours you put into it, but you don't realize that it's still shit. In music and in art, it doesn't count how much hours you put into it. It doesn't count how much effort you put into it. It doesn't matter how long you were actually doing this. At the end, the only thing that counts is like the end product, how you got there and, and why and everything else behind it. No one cares. If you make a good track, it will get signed to a good label. They will promote it. They will make money with it. You will make money with it. With that, you can invest into new gear, having the time to do it full time, make the next song. So that's kind of how you develop, but the first step is actually making good, great music. And if you think you make good, great music and it isn't good, then the first step is actually realizing that fact. Might be hard for some people, but I'm at the end really happy that that, that moment happened, that I made the song that just isn't good, especially if you listen closer to the mixing. It's just awful. It's, it's really bad. It's just not there yet. And nowadays I make a song like in, in an hour that sounds better than this. So a lot of steps in between reaching from that point to, to where I am right now. And hopefully in, in 10 years I will look back onto my songs from today and make a video about them, how bad they were. It would be actually great because there is nothing I love more than advancing, getting better each and every day. I think that's one of the most fun things about making music or actually about like life in general. I just, I just like it when it's like step by step, just getting better. And if you go back to my very first video or the video where I told you I'm broke and everything else, like the past half year especially just went so fast, so good. So I'm extremely happy about that. And part of it is also making this vlog. It's very motivational for me. It motivates me that it's motivating you watching it and also having like the pressure making a daily video is something that is very time consuming and sometimes very stressful, but it's also very challenging and I like that. I love the grind and, and I just love to push myself. And I have to say at the end, I'm way more productive although I'm, I'm editing and filming a video each and every day. So I will hopefully be able to continue this for as long as I, I feel it's, it's right and, and it's, it's doing good. So I hope I will be able to continue this and also improve with the vlog as I do with the music. I think if you go back to the very first one, there is a huge difference. And I still like that it's out there so people can see how much I improved. I think that counts sometimes more than, than just doing something good at the end. Like it's all about that journey, gaining that experience and just getting better every single day. Okay, before I get too philosophical, let's just end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I can deliver today. It's really a complete hangover story kind of day. And as much as I love doing all of this, the music, the vlogging and everything, it's unfortunately all limited by, by my physical body, I, I just need to sleep every once in a while. And also if you're interested, I still have the sign up thing going on, the sub label where you can release your track, keep 100% of the rights, 100% of the profits. I just got two more spots available for this year. The link will be also in the description. So see you hopefully tomorrow.
sign out.